as I've demonstrated many times, people behind the scenes that control all of our society, they know the earth is flat. These are the Freemasons. Just first off, before taking a look at this clip, notice behind here, you get your CC, which is coded for 33. ABC, 1, 2, 3, you get your 33. The highest degree in the Scottish Rite of Freemasonry. Again, those that own and control all of society. Now let's take a listen here, what Daniel Tosh says during a show. Understand one thing. His show is all controlled from behind the scenes. You know, he doesn't ab lib his shows. There are producers, script writers that find people like him that believe that have talent in every aspect. Even people in the audience asking questions. It's 100% scripted. And this is a form of mockery. Take a listen to what is said here. It's not afraid to answer the tough questions. See, Daniel Tosh is not controlled by special interest. What about Viacom? Okay. One special interest. So he just admits he's controlled by Viacom. One special interest. <laughs> but I'm a straight shooter. And to prove it, we're going to have our own town hall debate. Let's go to the audience for our first question. Now again, understanding how TV works, you're not going to just pull some random guy out of the audience and ask a question. Everything is scripted, including this guy right here who asked the specific question about NASA. Take a listen. How do you feel about increasing funding for the space program? Let's start. Now take a listen very carefully to what is said here. It's all about the flat earth and how space does not exist. Again, it's all about mockery. I don't believe space exists. <laughs> now what does this remind you of? I'm going to play this clip I played many times before with the Red Hot Chili Peppers song, Californication. Space may be the final frontier, but it's made in a Hollywood basement. This is how they do it. Again, just more mockery. They're not on our side. You know, all the people listen to the Red Hot Chili Peppers, they hear this, these lyrics, and these lyrics will go in one ear out the other because there's so much into the music, they don't pay attention to the lyrics. They don't devise these lyrics out of thin air, just like Daniel Tosh didn't say space was fake for no reason as well. Now take a listen to Daniel Tosh as he basically mocks the audience talking about how NASA going to Mars supposedly was nothing but fakery and also he makes a mention to direct TV take a listen and attach a camcorder to a Roomba stick it in the desert and tell me it's Mars I could care less I care less if we ever go to space again as long as my direct TV signal strong this is how it works your direct TV supposedly satellite or television is all done by ground-based towers. All technology such as GPS, satellite TV, all works on ground towers. Satellites do not exist. Nothing but a hoax. As I pointed out many times, I'll play my previous video on satellites being nothing more than a hoax after this presentation. Now also understanding another technology that's been used for many, many years is under ocean fiber optic cables. Take a look at this presentation here. You understand what's taking place. It's in the cloud, but really, it's in the ocean. About 300 undersea fiber optic cables are responsible for 99% of international data traffic. It's basically the same way we connect to each other in a single country, except underwater instead of underground. They transmit PewDiePie from Europe to America, and they connect stock traders in New York and London. And these cables, placed by private companies, are the backbone of the internet. There you go. Again, fiber optic cables, and you have your towers. This is how our technologies work. Now, getting back to the Red Hot Chili Peppers, again, just like Daniel Tosh, just like his show is scripted, these lyrics for these so-called artists are scripted as well from people behind the scenes, again, meant as mockery. Now, let's take a closer look at the Red Hot Chili Peppers, these sellouts. Just taking a look here at Anthony Kiedis and understand what he's doing was taking place here. Another image with Anthony Kiedis and Flea. Everything they do, there is a reason with the tongue sticking out. It's all from the Bible with these Satanists behind the scenes. And one thing I need to point out, when they do this, I'm not saying 100% these people are devil worshippers or Satanists, but definitely puppets of those that control the music industry in Hollywood from behind the scenes. Let's take a look here. Get the Bible verse from Isaiah 57, 4, where it states, Whom do you mock, making faces and sticking out your tongues? You children of sinners and liars. 
So you'll understand why they do this. Okay. Now, of course, there's a lot of monkey see, monkey do copycats in this world. Specifically, their fans that don't understand the occult and they'll copy their favorite performers. Now, take a look here. Once again at Flea doing the devil horns and he has Krampus which is basically the German version of Santa Claus on his shirt here on his sweater give it away now music video and you see the devil horns again I talk about how Satanists do everything on opposites and they know, they know the Bible inside and out they partake in homosexuality again this is the opposite of the Bible what the Bible states that homosexuality is an abomination Understand, I'm not one to say I hate gay people. But understand, these people, they partake in homosexuality, even if they're not gay. They do it for the simple fact it goes against the Bible. And that's what it's all about. I actually know someone that's a Satanist that I went to school with. And he was not gay. But once he got into Satanism, he became what he called a, called himself a bisexual for this very reason. Again, it's all about Satanism. In the world of opposites, doing everything in opposition to the Bible. It is more of the same with these two kissing, these two members of the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Now, more Satanism in plain sight, mocking Christ. Where you see Chad Smith, the drummer, with his arms out. This is, again, pure mockery. This is what they're all about, with these Satanists. Now, another image right here. And you see Flea doing the 666 hand sign over the eye. You see the devil horns. And you see Anthony Kiedis, again, making a cross with his middle fingers, a form of mockery. And Chad Smith just looking on like, what's going on? Do you people understand what's going on? Now, for people that still do not believe that the Red Hot Chili Peppers, you know, they're Satanists, or at least solace to Satan themselves, take a listen to this clip from the MTV Music Awards going back to the early 90s. Take a listen to what it said here. Speaking in tongues. Again, everything they do, there is a reason. Now take a listen to what Anthony Kita says right here after, you know, right before receiving the award. Uh, this is, I, I'd like to, uh, first of all, I'd like to thank Satan. He says, first off, I would like to thank Satan. How clear can it be? What's taking place here? Now, for those, again, that don't understand the flat earth and how silage are nothing but a hoax, and our whole system is based on lies and deception. I'll play some previous videos so people can further connect the dots. You want answers! I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! Talking about mockery, just take a look at this company, Orion Telescope Center, located in Cupertino, California. Take a look at their company logo, and what do you see? Basically, the dome with the flat earth. These people know the earth is flat. They are just profiting those gullible people that just believe all the lies of science. When the foundation is, is a lie, everything else after is a lie as well. Here's a closer look at the storefront. <laughs> right in front of your face. And here's the dome above the flat earth. What a complete joke. You see the URL, telescope.com, 40 years in business. And again, take a look at the flat earth model next to Orion, the company name. Again, all mockery in front of every single one of these telescopes. Let's take a look at space.com. And they ask the question, why do planets look like stars in the night sky? Here you see supposedly Jupiter and Venus and the moon. It states here the planets are much closer inside our solar system. Although the planets are much smaller than the, than the stars, planets appear to be the same size as the stars because they are so close to us. Planets don't produce their own light. They reflect the light of the sun in the same way that moon reflects sunlight. This is completely false, and I'll explain that. Now let's take a look at this image of the night sky with Mercury, Venus, Saturn, Mars, and Jupiter. 
that science states is supposedly shine because of sunlight off these planets. Now let's take a closer look here at Saturn and Venus. Even a little bit more of a close up. Now supposedly these are planets shining because of the reflection of the sun. Okay, now let's take a look at this image. You see more stars. And again, all the other supposed planets they all shine like stars because that's all they are. Now, supposedly Saturn through a telescope you don't see it shining. You don't see any stars in the back. More of the same. Now let's look at this. This is one channel showing Saturn through a C11 telescope. Of course, C11 is 311 for 33. Now let's take a look at this channel. Different channel, and you get a different color Saturn. It is not shining like you've seen in these images here. And why is that? And again, where are the stars in the background? Completely demonstrates how these pre-programmed digital telescopes are feeding you lies. It reminds me of fisheye lens cameras that give false perspective. And this is how they do it. This is why these were manufactured. So in high distances, people get the illusion that we live in the ball. And just take a look at this supposed image of Lake Tahoe from space. Give me a break. How small is the Earth if Lake Tahoe is this big? That's what I'm talking about as far as deception when it comes to telescopes, to fisheye lens cameras. They are created to give a false perspective to create a false reality. And this is what it's all about. I'm going to play my previous video. Before I do, I want to mention one thing as I stated before. Teachers from elementary school, high school, college, university, they never seen the ball Earth from space. They're just teaching what they're told to teach. They cannot deviate. If they deviate and not teach what the textbooks state, they are out of a job. And this is how the whole system works, the entire system of deception. Before looking at the footage on top of the World Trade Center tower, I want to go over what science says is the supposed curvature of the Earth with the Earth's circumference supposedly being 25,000 miles around and that leads you to this chart with the first mile within the first mile there's supposedly eight inches of curvature then it goes by square with the second mile being 32 inches and so forth with 72 in the third and basically you know over each mile the curvature gets very dramatic very fast you know, within 10 miles, that's 800 inches, which calculates to be a little bit over 66 feet. And at 60 miles, that brings you to 2,400 feet. And that's over a quarter mile of curvature. Now let's take a look at the footage. Now with this footage from New York, with the one Trade Center tower, they show engineers working on the spire. Now let's take a look at the footage, and you can clearly see how there's no curvature to the Earth. Right there. This point, all the way across, is a straight line. Again, going back to that chart, there should be a dramatic curve to the earth and sometimes we watch videos not sometimes a lot of times and you'll see curvature but those are with fish eye lens cameras and that's how you get it. I'm going to show a little bit of that towards the end of this video and you can see where they use standard cameras and the fish eye lens which distorts the perspective and makes people believe you know to go along with what science says that we lived on a, on a spinning ball floating in space. Again. You know, when they do these documentaries, unknowingly, they're exposing themselves in other ways that are paying attention to detail. A little bit more look here. Again, right there.
perfectly flat. See these buildings? I'm going to show in a little bit using when they use a GoPro camera with the fish eye lens. And you're going to see a distortion. All these buildings are pointing straight up like they should. It's all going to make sense in a little bit. Now taking a look at this footage with the engineer using a completely different camera, this one a fish eye lens camera, and you can see a dramatic curve to the earth. Not the same camera as used earlier. You see that distortion? You see that drastic curve to the earth? These buildings leaning to one side? It's all distorted because of the lens of the camera giving the false perspective. Now with this footage you're going to completely see how the fish eye lens camera completely distorts the horizon to make it look like it's a ball. There you go. We're from flat to curved. And this is the entire purpose behind these fish eye lens cameras. For the simple fact they need to cover themselves for situations like this completely curved buildings curved everything's curved complete distortion now take a look at this footage from on top of the south tower a year before the towers came down it's a nice pan and on top of the tower showing how the horizon is completely flat clear as day flat earth. How people can't see this is beyond me. I want to jump in right here about telescopes. Very important point I want to make. Yeah. There's a difference between analog telescopes and digital. There's information put in those digital telescopes so you see what they want you to see. Everything yeah. is within the firmament. People say, oh, I see the, I see the planet through my telescope, which you're seeing is pre-programmed where you're to position that point to see what they're going to show you what you want, they want you to see. Look through an analog telescope, you're not going to see what, it's, it's going to be a blur. You're just uh -huh. like this guy. Listen, what is Jupiter? What, what, are they, what is Saturn? These are supposedly gas planets. They're not even physical. They even admit that they're not physical. There's no surface. It doesn't matter. They're just lights in the sky. Period. Good, good point. I have a good point bringing up telescopes. This is what I'm talking about. Pre-programmed into these digital telescopes. That's what you're seeing. And it looks fake because it is fake. Just a digital image. Especially right here. Just take a look. What is that garbage? People believe this is real. But interesting enough, take a look at the comments found this pretty interesting. This person Jason Humphrey says here, I can't even think of words that describe how amazing this is. To see it like that almost makes it seem fake. Brilliant. <laughs> fake, yeah. This person here, the channel owner says, Saturn is beautiful and it looks indeed fake. Yeah, that's fake, all right. And right here, this person throws in as well. Neil deGrasse Tyson said he couldn't believe how fake it looks with your own eyes, but how it looks real because it's right there in front of you. I don't know anybody, no matter how many pictures of Saturn they've seen, who upon looking through a telescope with their own eyes at Saturn in space, doesn't have their jaw drop. People don't understand. All they've been fed is fake their entire lives. And when all you've been fed is fake, you're not going to have good discernment between fake and real because you don't know what real is. So all we get is fake. Even the ball earth we supposedly live on. Just taking a look at this image here from NASA's official website with Robert Simon. This is the man responsible for the supposed blue marble that we live on. 
read the article, he states he basically creates this image of the blue marble through data received through satellites. As I mentioned before, satellites do not exist. There are no satellites in space. And if they were, how far away are they to capture this image of Earth? Give me a break. How people can't see what's taking place with all the trillions of dollars spent on NASA over the years. And they give us a composite of the planet we supposedly live on. And the masses just lap it up. As I stated many times, all the teachers throughout elementary school, middle school, high school, college, university, they never seen the ball Earth from space. They're just taking NASA's word for it. And this is what happens when people assume they trust their government, they trust their government agency and NASA, and even when things like this don't add up, they'll find a way to rationalize it. No one likes to be told they've been lied to their entire lives. It's sad. We live in such a dumbed-down society. Space, a final frontier. Space may be the final frontier, but it's made in a Hollywood basement. The force can have a strong influence on the weak mind. Earth throughout its life, even when it formed, it was spinning, and it got a little wider at the equator than it does at the poles. So it's not actually a sphere, it's, an, it's oblate, and officially it's an oblate spheroid, that's what we call it. But not only that, it's slightly wider below the equator than above the equator. A little chubbier. A little chubbier. Yeah. Chubby's a good way, it's like pear-shaped. How do you like it? They tell you all the time what to do, what to think, what to feel. Do you want to be like a cheap? Like all those other people, man? Da, 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 da. Do you understand? That piece of shit up there, I never like him. I never trust her here. This is paradise, I'm telling you. God said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. And God made the firmament, and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament, and it was so. With all the videos I'm making covering the Flat Earth lately, I'm getting a lot of questions about satellites. You know, this is their evidence that the Earth is a ball. Now let's take a look at these images of these satellites. Do these look real to you? I want you people that talk about satellites all the time to show me a real image of a satellite. All you get there are these CGI images, not a single real image of a satellite anywhere. Why is that? All we get is this fake garbage. You get a CGI satellite, you get a CGI planet, all bogus, 100%. So, for all you people coming to my channel, talking about satellites, make a video, produce real satellites. You can't do it because they don't exist, period. Supposedly close to 3,000 satellites up in space. Again, all we get is this fake garbage. Now let's look at what ISS has to produce as far as real satellites. Get that fake garbage. You get this. All CGI, computer animated 
looks like a video game. Where are the satellites? You don't see any because they don't exist. Look at this. Wow. You believe this is real? If you believe this is real, you're going to believe every single lie NASA, the media, your government tells you. You've been completely blinded from birth. You believe everything you've been told your whole life. And any time someone questions an official story by your leaders, you get angry, you get upset, you get defensive. Because no one likes to be told they've been lied to their entire lives. But all you get, again, is computer animated garbage. Your whole life is nothing but garbage. Now with the supposed live feed from the ISS, you get this bogus CGI satellite here. Where are all the rest of the satellites? Where are they? How can people see through this deception? You believe this is real? You gotta be kidding me. Again, complete mockery on the masses that take lies as truth and truth as lies. Now let's take a look at some photos supposedly from NASA of the ball of earth, the blue marble spinning at a thousand miles an hour in space. You believe these are real. All fake garbage. Again. How people can't see this? No clue. It's a waste of time arguing with these idiots that can't see their own two eyes. Unbelievable how the masses completely blinded by their masters. In a form of mockery with Hollywood, they're going to tell you the truth right in front of your face as form of mockery. Under the dome, that TV show exactly what we're living under the dome that's why all the images of earth from space all the fake satellite images they're all fake why they cannot get past the dome to take real images of earth that simple so again with these TV shows such as the Big Bang Theory as well they like to put the occult all in plain sight with these TV shows. And again, like I said, I stated before, when you see a rainbow after it's done raining and the sky clears, what you get here are these water beads that act like a mirror that get a reflection from the dome that is above us. More of the same. That's a reflection. Again, the water acting as a mirror, a reflection of the dome above us. And I found this pretty interesting with the Sky Dome, another form of mockery with the name Sky Dome. It was built by IBI in Canada. What do you see? The upside down pentagram, right side up pentagram. The Occult in Plain Sight, and this is their official website. Look it up yourself. I'll show some more images here from their website, giving the details about the Sky Dome. Now the Occult with the Sky Dome. Now what do you see here? The obelisk. Right outside. Again, all about the Occult all these large companies to get their contracts to be successful they know their role they know what they need to do Just looking at some images here more images This is the one that's right in your face. You know, on this, on their homepage, 
for the Sky Dome. This is their image. Again, with the occult and plain sight, completely ridiculous. Uh, people can't see that those that rule this world worship Satan. Now, talking about Sky Dome, let's take a look here with the Simpsons. And of course, as I mentioned before, Matt Groening of the Simpsons, being a Freemason, what does he have? They're going to put the Sky Dome in one of their episodes. And of course, more little occultic symbol here. They're all about the occult. Everyone that makes it top of this world, with no exception, the part of the so-called Illuminati, the elite, all those that worship Satan. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without our hope and for hope. And darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. And God saw the light that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. And God called the light light day, and the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. And God said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. And God made the firmament, and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament, and it was so. And God called the firmament heaven, and the evening and the morning of the second day. And God said, Let the waters under the heaven be gathered together unto one place, and let the dry land appear. And it was so. And God called the dry land earth, the gathering together of the waters called the sea. And God saw that it was good. And God said, Let there be light in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years, and let them be for light in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth. And it was so. And God made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day, and the lesser light to rule the night. He made the stars also. And God set them in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth, and to rule over the day and over the night, and to divide the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good, and the evening and the morning were the fourth day. And God said, Let there be lights in the firmament of the heavens, in the firmament of the heavens, in the firmament of the heavens, in the firmament of the heavens. Then spake Joshua to the Lord in the day when the Lord delivered up the Amorites before the children of Israel. And he said in the sight of Israel, Son, stand thou still upon Gibeon, and thou moon in the valley of Ajalon. And the sun stood still, and the moon stayed, until the people had avenged themselves upon their enemies. Is not this written in the book of Jasher? So the sun stood still in the midst of heaven, and hasted not to go down about a whole day. Fear before him all the earth, the world also shall be stable, that it be not moved. The Lord reigneth, he is clothed with majesty, 
The Lord is clothed with strength, wherewith he hath girded himself. The world also is established that it cannot be moved. Say among the heathen that the Lord reigneth. The world also shall be established that it shall not be moved. He shall judge the people righteously. It is he that sitteth upon the circle of the earth, and the inhabitants thereof are as grasshoppers, that stretcheth out the heavens as a curtain, and spreadeth them out as a tent to dwell in. It is he that sitteth upon the circle of the earth, and the inhabitants thereof are as grasshoppers, that stretcheth out the heavens as a curtain, and spreadeth them out as a tent to dwell in. For he looketh to the ends of the earth, and seeth under the whole heaven. This is a, a group of social criminals. These people in the space program. Nassholes, I call them. Space, the final frontier. Space may be the final frontier, but it's made in a Hollywood basement. Fascinating, fascinating, fascinating. Astronauts to the moon. The force. Have a strong influence on the weak mind. Conspiracy theorists. They've been crazy, but now they're right.